Let's create a dark mode toggle using Webflow variables that remembers the setting across pages. The first time the user visits our site, it will match their system preferences, but they can always override that preference if they'd like. Let's open our Webflow variables and create all our light mode variables first. Light mode variables will need to live in a folder of color. So we'll say color slash background. This is the main background color of our site when inside light mode. Let's create a color slash text for our main font color. And we can create any other light mode variables we'd like as long as they're in a folder of color. So we'll say slash button background and I'll set this to purple for now. And I'll have one more color slash button text and I'll set this to light. We can also create size variables that are specific to light or dark mode. So we'll create a color slash toggle offset. And this is how far our toggle is offset from the left when inside light mode. Once we have all our variables set, we'll need to recreate these same variable names inside of a dark folder. So let's create a dark slash background. And this is our main background color of the site when inside dark mode. Let's create a dark slash text. This is our main font color when in dark mode. Let's create a dark slash button background. And I'll set this to this greenish yellow for now. And I'll create a dark slash button text. And I'll set this to this dark color for now. And let's create our size variable dark slash toggle offset. And I'll set it to 0.5 rim for now. Once we have these set, we can apply them. So let's grab the body and we'll head to the body all pages tag. And we'll need to apply the light mode colors by default. So the background color will be our color background and the font color will be our color text. This button element here, its background color can be color button background and its font color can be color button text. We can grab this toggle and we can set its background to color button background. And this inner piece, its background can be color button text. And for the offset, we'll use left margin. We can apply our dark mode for now, just so we can see what that looks like. Let's edit the variable and let's push it over till it lines up in the right place. And we'll want the default we apply to be the light mode offset. And once we have that set, let's grab this whole link block and we'll need to give it a data attribute with the name of tr-color-toggle. That way our custom code can target it. Now, if we open our variables panels, let's remember the variable names we've created here of background text, button background, button text, and toggle offset. We'll need to head to our site settings and we'll head to the custom code tab. And we're gonna paste our code in this head code section here. I'll leave this code in the description below. Inside this TR color verse, we're gonna add in all the variable names we have so far, excluding the folders. So we have a background, comma, we have a text, we have a button background, comma, we have a button text, and we have a toggle offset. All these need to match the way we name the variables inside Webflow, and we can also pass in a custom duration or custom ease if we'd like. It's gonna go find those variable names, both inside light and dark mode, and apply them to our site. So if we check it out now and open, we should notice this is working, set up, and good to go.